Yeah, it's recording, so. Okay. Don't swear. Not that you would. Not that I would. The lady that you are. True. Yeah. Do you want to? Yeah. I can't get it out now. Oh. oh. It's caught. It's caught on something. <laughs> you should have said to put the table out before. Right, brilliant. You're in. Up in. How you doing? Thanks very much. Dinner doors. Gurav Mahagut, which is Irish for thank you very much. See, it sees you. See, again the same thing. So first things first. Do you think I should go? Uh, see if it'll focus on this. There you go. Now, do you think I should go down to the hospital with that? I was doing a bit of gardening. I don't want to bother them, obviously, because of the disaster. But uh, what do you think, Faye? Should I go down? No, you'd be grand. Yeah? It's far from your backside, you won't sit on it. Could it get infected? No. Just keep sanitising your hands, you'd be grand. I'm only joking when I turn this back to autofocus. I pull that down, so... Why? Just... Would it be better? No? Yeah, I don't know. Just scoots down a bit. Obviously, I've adjusted that. Okay, so first things first. Couple of couple of updates regarding the van. So you know my no, little I'm a bit dark down there. my little uh, reversing camera. Okay, so you can see my my little reversing camera monitor is there. Okay, so the first thing um, since um, so. I, I didn't get the reversing camera in the van, as you know from my four-year video, and um, the, the the camera I installed. And what I'll do is I'll put a link to the video that I did about four years ago. I um, put in my own little small reversing camera on the back of the van. Uh, so the other one died. I don't know what happened to it. I don't know whether the camera failed or whether the monitor failed. I suspect it might have been the monitor, but anyway, I stripped it all out. And what I did was I got a new. Um, I got a new I got a new um camera and I fitted it. Jan site, if you're looking it up, it's on Amazon, right? So it's called Jan site. So I put it in just to see how it how it does. So anyway, so that's the first update. And um so so far so good, isn't it? Mm. So I've had to mount it slightly the, the main difference is I fit it more or less exactly as I did the last time. The only difference is that the cable is shorter. It was about a meter shorter, so I couldn't fit it in the same place. So what I did was I mounted it onto the top. I, cu I couldn't fit it to um, where it was supposed to fit in the dash, not the dash, the um, registration plate. So I couldn't fit it to the registration plate because it was slightly too short. The reason being is that I don't wire it through the boot. I, ha I actually have the wire going out between the door. If you see the old video, you'll see what I mean. And... Um, that's what I did. I, I fit it that way. I'm a disaster, these, aren't I? Mm -hmm. So uh, I warm up. I have to warm up. So I fit the new one, and um, I'm going to see how well it goes. But it's a slightly different angle. But it it, it seems good. It's, it's good so far. They're only they're only cheap. It was about thirty five pounds, was it, or thirty five euro? I think it's thirty five euro actually. So they're cheap as chips for getting them. The problem is, obviously, it only lasted. The last one only lasted four years. So I'm a bit paranoid now to see how long this one will last. Um, but I suppose four years out. Of eight quid a year. Yeah. They're doing all right. Uh, yeah. So um, yeah. So look, you know, it's grand, and they they are a great thing to have from a mm -hmm. kind of safety perspective. Should we turn on lights or something like that? No, it's plenty bright, isn't it? I know. Don't bother, because you know what? I can brighten it in there. I can brighten it in the softer. So. Why did you turn on a bit of heat? It is very cold. So uh, I was going to say something there. They are, oh yeah, they are important to have. I'm going there for a walk. Can we stay focused? They are, this is hard enough for me as it is. <laughs> they are, they are, um, they, they are, are important. They are hard enough to install and they're very No, no they're not, they're not hard to install. It was, bar it was barely, barely an inconvenience. inconvenience. So, um, the, 
they uh, you do need them. They are they are essential because I find reverse in the van, even with the sensors, uh, as I was saying before in the four year video, was that the reason we fit the reverse in camera was, and that's why I would say they're absolutely essential because we were reversing the van and um, these ladies, while I was reversing the van, decided to come between me, their car and the back of the van while they're unloading their shopping and I give them an awful fright. But uh, you were watching them at the time, weren't you? Yeah. Uh, they were in no danger, were they? No. They just, they just stopped behind a reversing vehicle, which is very clever. Well, uh, I was reversing and, and I, so they were pushing the trolley and they sort of disappeared behind me. But I think they were so focused on loading the boot that when they turned around, the van was there. And I think that's... Because I don't know, I couldn't tell, but I could just hear one of them scream, but I think they just got startled because of their fright. I hope I'm in focus. Because it's definitely focused on you. you yeah, yeah, see, it sees me now. So it just doesn't recognise me with the glasses. Panasonic, you need to fix that. So that's that. So we'll see how long it goes. So the way I fit it is I run the wire down the side of the van. It goes out through the open boot just... door and up and over. The same I did in the last... Why the are last... we doing this video today? I'm going to get to the point now. I have to do mm -hmm. the updates around the van. Okay. The other thing was, so the la when I did that video before, someone commented. Now, it's very new to uh, YouTube and I was very new to the van. So when I fit the camera, uh, I didn't obviously want to take the van apart to do all the wiring properly and everything like that. And I temporarily did it. And I'm glad I did now because obviously after four years, I'd have to redo it. But somebody kind of had a go at me saying that because I could afford the van, I could probably afford to go to somewhere and get a proper camera fit. And that's true. That's true. Are you paying attention? No, you're that's, boring me. That's true because I probably could go down and do it. But for the sake of 30 quid, I'm wiring it. And like I said, it lasts four years. Um, but, um, you know, someone having a bit of a pot shot at me. They were kind of missing the point. Because People can't the, help themselves. The whole video, haters got to hate. The whole video was really about um, why it was just so cheap and cheerful and temperate and everything like that. I'm not defensive. I'm just saying it. You know yourself, you know, because... Like it would be very complicated to take the boot apart. Well, I listen, did look you're at after spending a lot of money and the last thing you want to do is damage you. Especially now because you never get it fixed. So, uh, yeah, and, and what happens this time around, because it it's four years on and a bit more confident with the van and everything, I did have a look and I did take out a few screws and have a look and everything like that. And actually that boot, with the way it holds the tables and chairs and there's lots of bits and pieces in there and I went, no, do you know what? Unless, unless you're that way inclined. Stay away from it. Yeah, no. It's like with you with the washing machine. Like, sure, you wouldn't have a clue. What do you mean? It's my business, isn't it? The washing machine. You have to speak mm. up now because people can't hear. They can't hear. Okay. So, the... Um, yeah, but I can I am handy. I can do things. I put in the two new extractor fans and... What else? So, I'm not I'm not afraid to do that kind of stuff. Now, look at me. See, now I'm, I'm explaining now because I'm mm. like a man. I'm all threatened. Yeah, somebody had a go at me. Anyway, so the other, the other update was... How long has that taken? <laughs> Okay, what else are we going to do? We're all trapped. So, John DGN, thank you very much, John DGN. You made a suggestion. I don't know, I'll just put that there with Vanessa's face because it's definitely in focus now. So, um, John DGN, in, in the four year video, um, I was complaining about, well, I wasn't complaining. I was just, you'll have to sit forward because I'll be slightly out of focus. Well, I want to be comfortable, thanks, and it's taking so long. <laughs> <laughs> to be comfortable. I'm going to be out of focus because it, it's such shallow field of depth. Just be sit, sit up at me slightly closer, right? Very now. We have keep to keep going. this a family video. <laughs> so, so the, the so John actually, I was I was saying, that don't sit back now. Sit forward because it's such a sh shallow field of depth. I'm going to burst you. Okay. So, the Vanessa's always complaining about the door sticking, and John on John commented to say that I should get silicone spray. And actually, John, so I went to a hardware store and I saw it and it's 5 95 that's five euro ninety five, And I got it and I sprayed it into the grooves and I have to say, it did the trick. It's groovy. It did the trick because the mechanism at the back, the, the, the issue with the T6 is that they are not great. They're not well designed. Design. The, the handles, the handles and the various bits and pieces are not great designs. But um, this stuff did the business. That's what, that's what I've changed them on the T6.1. This stuff did the business. I sprayed it in, so it is silicone spray. Obviously, I can show you here, but you can see it's. Well so what's done, it Jenner. Say? Silicone, Thanks very much. Silicone release agent for easing friction between two surfaces, and it's non-stick and non-stick and odorless. Ideal for rubber gasket uh, insulation and for mold making. In okay, safe in food areas. Leaves a dry touch, a touch-free finish within seconds, and it is very good. So. Is the rain? Is it? Yeah. It's, it's, is it? Yeah. It's not rain. It is. It's not. 
So thank, thanks very much, John. That's that was a brilliant suggestion. Now, anything else? No. Okay, so finally down to the actual reason we're doing the video. So, obviously COVID is out and about, and we did have plans for March. We usually try and do something in April, March or something like that, mm -hmm. and uh, we didn't. We went away in Paddy's Day last year. We went to um, Care, and then we went to Care or Care Castle, and we went, anyway. So we did that last year, and we're doing um, this now. <laughs> <laughs> do that again. That's Sonia from East End, isn't it? <laughs> do it, go on, do Sonia, go on. <laughs> I used to be Sonia from East Enders. I'm doing this now. That's very good. That's very good. That's very good. She also um, does uh, magic shows and bits and pieces, and she's available for hiring for bar mitzvahs. I just so can't on. show him up, it's the only bit of magic I can do. <laughs> So, um, yeah, so we hope you're enjoying the uh, fitness videos that Vanessa's putting up. So, again, just to, so people don't probably don't realize, that's Vanessa's occupation. Um, she is a personal trainer, and you have a load of classes down in the village, and you teach, was it, you're qualified to teach kids, um, older adults, people, a, a, adults and all like that. So, so you do personal training and running classes and getting mm. people to, to do 5Ks to marathons and all that kind of stuff. So... We're not doing anything else, so Vanessa just thought that what she would do is um, she'd stick a few of those videos up. And Gary, Gary commented this morning about. So thank you very much, Gary, for the comment. I don't think there's anything we can do about the quality because it's um, it's not high quality camera on the MacBook Pro. And um, well, I'd say a bit straighter for you. It's you're telling people I'm a personal trainer and you're sitting there sporting your finest belly. <laughs> It's 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 a, on a MacBook Pro and um, it's not a great camera. So I did look online to see if I could get a better camera, but they're all sold out. No surprises. I'd say everyone and their granny has got yeah. a brand new camera. So we can't. So Once we're still. You can get the gist of what it is. I'm yeah. Sure, anyway, that's the yeah. most important. The, the quality is always much better of our videos. Anyway, it was just it's just to kind of give people a little um, time. Did you bring out a biscuit? No, we don't want to listen to your munching. It's even Easter egg there underneath the camera. Um. Mm. It's just about giving people an exact time so as that if they were going to the gym, they'd probably be going to a class or they'd have to attend at a particular time. So it's to put it into a routine. That's, Whereas so if it's online and it's just there for you to do whenever you'll kind of go, I'll get to it. Yeah, because like part of the, re like to be honest, it was sort of like a back of a fag box idea, wasn't yeah. it? And uh, that's why we're doing them off the uh, laptop camera uh, because um, if I did it on this, it wouldn't be live and then I'd have to, edit it and put it up it's it's no big deal and then uh, but thanks very much Gary for the comment because uh, actually when we do the YouTube when you go live it tells you the resolution isn't great it goes you know yeah. you're aware the resolution isn't ideal and actually I think the thing is the depth of field isn't great either so I think when Vanessa steps away from the monitor mm. um, the quality disintegrates very quickly it's just in order to yeah. get my entire body in yeah. so you can yeah. see exactly what I'm doing I have to be a good bit away but, from it but I, I'd say look per personally my own experience is that when you're watching you kind of get the gist. They're simple enough yeah. movements, aren't they? And yeah, stuff like yeah. that. So you get the gist. But it, it look, you know, look, watch the videos if you're bored at home and you're looking to do something for a bit of exercise. I was thinking of taking it up as well. Mm. Actually, Donal was saying he wanted to see me in my leotard. That can be organised, Donal. You know, I have that black sheer one that's real. When you stretch, it becomes see through. Mm -hmm. So, um, okay, so what, what's the other thing? So, yeah, look, we did have plans. We did have plans for March and we did have plans for April. And actually, we hope everyone is okay. Obviously, first and foremost, but um, we can't get out. We were actually supposed to go for a spin today mm -hmm. in the van, but Ireland is in full lockdown now. So we were going to go for a spin today just to go to a, a remote beach and have, not get out so as not to mix with people and just to kind of... Um, but Be no. somewhere else. Yeah, Ireland is in full mm -hmm. lockdown. So it's quite scary now, isn't it? No. There's no need to be scared. No, not... You know, you know what I mean, though. Mm. I don't mean... Will you sit forward? Because I bet you I'm out of focus. And I'm doing all the talking. It's very irritating. No, it's so. not. I mean, we're, we're, yeah, I can understand why people have anxiety. Stop doing that. You look like a gobshit. Don't curse. Sorry. <laughs> you can take the man out of the country. <laughs> but stop doing that. It's okay. very annoying. Um, I can understand why people are anxious. Ow! But we're all in it together, I suppose, is what I was saying on the video the other day. So we're all kind of doing it to do our bit to save kind of other people. Um, 
it's all right for us people that are saying, oh, we're fit and healthy. But I've actually seen personal trainers that have actually been sick. So it's 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 not only older people that are getting it. Well, no, ev ev everyone can get it. No one yeah, has immunity. I know, but people it's are thinking it's only older people that are getting very sick from it. It's not. Oh, yeah. There are actually kind of people at our age that are getting very mm -hmm. sick from it who are, who are also very, very healthy. So you just have to be aware that it, it doesn't discriminate. Well, well you, you you could have an underlying issue that you're not aware of. You well, could I have, have asthma. You, you, Well, you're aware of it, though, mm. but I could have a heart condition mm. that I'm not aware of. You don't and have I, one. And, <laughs> what, a heart condition or a heart? heart. <laughs> That's not very nice. I know. So, <laughs> um... Yeah, but you could. No, I know, yeah, all seriousness. Mm. But um, just don't be scared. And like that, as I was saying on the video as well, reach out to us. We, we're always happy. And Jay's great with the old chats as well. So, I mean, if he wants to do a, 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 oh, thanks. a FaceTime or anything like that, reach out to us and we'll get in touch and that's no problem at yeah, all. Yeah, you see, we could we could set up something live. and But I, again, you know, like, like we could say on a, a Friday evening or something like that, say mm. 7 o'clock. And yeah. we could just, you know, crack open Bring a your beer. Or your beer. Yeah, or and then just go online and then have a bit of crack of people's comments or something like that as well. Mm. So look, that's that you, you've just that's just off the top of your head, obviously. Isn't yeah. It? So like, if people are interested in that, stick it in the comments, and and then and what we can do is we could set up. So that would be something to do, wouldn't it? Yeah, and I, we are a little community as well. You know, I know there's people that are on their own and stuff like that, but don't feel alone. You know, yeah, definitely yeah. reach out if you're feeling in any way, and sure, one of us could come online and have a chat or whatever. Yeah. No, just don't feel alone. Yeah, yeah, that's that's very mm. nice of you. Mm. Yeah. So, um, what else? So that like, so in Ireland it's locked down till the middle of April, so we can't do anything, and uh, and and uh, I'm okay. Like I I'm I can work from, I can work from home, so I've plenty to do. There's lots to do and keep me busy all week. The only thing is, um, you know, you would want to be out and about, although it is very cold at the moment, but you would want to be certainly... It's very cold today and yesterday. It has been beautiful up to that day. And, and we had some nice plans for April planned. Yeah. And, uh, but obviously staying at home. The reason I say it's scary is because just the people's reaction in Tesco the other night when we were out and about. Yeah. Well, uh, sorry, so what happened was I was, I'd been out in Tesco to, uh, two weeks ago mm. and people were kind of aware of it. But then we went out last Saturday to do a bit of shopping in the, and we left it till late in the evening so it'd be even quieter. And I walked around the corner and some guy leapt out of his skin because the two of us came around the corner to like this. But he had goggles on and a, or a mask and gloves and he was taking it, like obviously very seriously. Uh, again, he could have been carrying an underlying, uh, underlying issue, right? So, but when we came around the corner, just his reaction, I, went, I was like, am I not taking this seriously enough? Because look at this guy. And, um, but you could see, but then later on we went to Aldi and there was some guy outside and he was talking to somebody and they weren't they weren't separated. I thought they were a couple, but they weren't separated because they went into the shop separately. And then in the shop I saw him talking some, to somebody else and they were only about a foot and a bit apart. So two extremes. Yeah, so, well, because cause it's not been, well, yeah, because, yeah, yeah, I suppose, yeah. So that's that's how it's spread. You, you get one extreme of one guy trying to protect himself and then you have the other extreme of some guy in Aldi walking around talking to everybody, you know, so whatever. And as they say, best be safe than sorry. Yeah, and, and typically it's people like that who probably get a mild Absolutely, case, yeah. you know, whatever. Anyway, that sounds a bit like we're criticised, judging them, we're not. We're, no, we're not, but, I mean, there saying. are people out there that are foolhardy I suppose but you also have to if you're in their company you have to say to them if you don't feel comfortable say sorry you need to step back and if people are offended by that that's fine because you're protecting yourself and you're allowed to protect yourself you know so you do have to and so even if you're a timid person you do have to kind of say do you know what you wouldn't mind stepping back or I'm stepping back well, I'd say everyone's aware of it at this stage, yeah. but yeah, you're right. It's good advice. Mm. So, so look, I think the thing is, we'll, 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 like, yeah, like we can do the, the chat for people, you know, for people who are stuck at home. Uh, if he's want to do the chat once a week, Christian's talking about bringing back family talk. But again, I'm conscious of, you see, we've put onto the channel now Vanessa's exercise videos. If Which bring will be back, gone as soon as this is all over. Yeah, we'll take them down. Yeah. And then obviously then, because obviously Vanessa's um, people who use her classes can watch them. And, um, and I'm conscious I don't want to start diluting the channel again because mm. it did. Obviously, the aim of the channel is to try and add subscribers. And I think if people start to see a real mixed message. Mm. Um, so I think the thing is, if we're chatting and it's, you know, what 
obviously on some level van related because that's what people tune mm. into the channel for um, or for the bit of crack but then there's the beer reviews they were a bit of fun family talk was a bit of fun but again I think we were doing too many things and mm. I think the channel was a little bit all over the place there was people subscribing and unsubscribing all over the place since we tidied it up the subscri- the subscription rate has, has, has sort of slowed uh, and I think that's as much to do with the algorithm in YouTube as the videos that I put up but also I think it's because um, we're kind of we've honed in on what the videos are about and they typically are about us travelling around in the van whereas if all of a sudden we start putting up videos about everything and mm-hmm. anything again we could probably start running into issues and they say when you have a YouTube channel you should pick something and be consistent and be good at it and mm-hmm. that's what I aim for but whatever just at the moment I suppose it's 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 just to try and kind of keep people active, keep people positive, yeah. you know. So, yeah. but as I said, once once this is all over, those videos will be brought, taken down. Yeah. So I won't be inundating you with workout Exerc- videos. Exercise videos, yeah. Unless people like them. Unless you like yeah. them. But then you can just subscribe to my channel. That isn't working great at the moment. So well, I we'll think... We'll fix that up, actually. Well, I think what you think. Yes. Mm. Yeah. When we went to Kerry that time, remember you were doing yoga and exercises mm. on the beach a million years ago, but mm. I don't think we were doing videos back then, were we? No, we weren't. Really no, 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 we weren't. So, so like it, like that, we'll have to hold tight, uh, and we just have to wait now and see how the whole thing um, plays out. Clearly, you know, people are dying, and that is just shocking. Yeah. No one has immunity. That's the other big thing as well. It's been a hundred years since something like this has happened. So, um, no, and people not not only no one has immunity but people are just not aware it's it's out of our mental history you know what I mean it's it's it's, it's not within living history of people kind of go now obviously 100 million people died back in 1918 when this happened before and they're going to try and limit that but it's like look at Italy over 10,000 I think it's mm-hmm. over 1,000 in the UK 36 here in the Republic so far you know so but we'll see the only I think the benefit of us being an island is that once we go into lockdown you know, but you see, like the borders in Italy we need and everything the north like that. To go into lockdown as well, though. I think they have, though. The whole of the UK has, mm. yeah. The whole of the UK has, yeah. So, um, that's that. Anything else, V? Any other gossip or scandal or news or anything like that? No. Well, your fortieth is Vanessa's fortieth. Vanessa's fortieth is, is is in May, so uh, we don't know what we're going to be doing. No. Oh well. Yeah, as long as you're still here. At least I get C forty one. As long as you're still here, yeah. Uh, anything else? Any other? Anything we can think of? No, there's nothing really. Just let us know if you are enjoying oh. the videos and. I I saw I had something. Oh yeah. Yeah. What? Cool. So um, the van sits a lot. So this is the thing I I have that on that VW forum. And I see other people asking the same question because their vans are obviously all sitting now. So for people who are interested, the, the air van sits and we, we obviously, we don't use it for anything other than um, trips. Camper yeah, we both have cars. So we that's what our cars are used for. And uh, But people are asking a question about the batteries. So what we do is because it sits every two weeks, I'm conscious of taking the van for a drive every two. Remind me to take the handbrake off. Uh, and that's the other thing. I have the handbrake on but I should when the van is sitting you should leave your handbrake off uh, assuming it won't roll away and now airs is automatic and once it's in park it won't roll um, but you know it's, it, they say it's a good advice not to leave your van sitting for weeks with the handbrake on apparently so the, just on the battery you what we do is we take the van out religiously every two weeks regardless and what we do is we take it for a drive that charges the batteries up and charges you know all the batteries and gives the van a bit of a spin so it's not sitting for too long uh, every two weeks um, we found that out the hard way because what happened was it died one time I didn't realise that the van would die because obviously the, the alarm running um, all the time uh, runs down the battery and the battery the battery can get to the point where the van won't start so the guy was saying look you know you, should, you shouldn't really leave your van sitting he said for more than two weeks so we find it every two weeks taking the van for a spin um, does the trick I don't want to take it out weekly but if, if, if we needed to I would Um and obviously what happens is sometimes when I get in, I notice that, you know, when you turn on the radio, it switches off immediately. And there's a little warning on the in, in the in, on the infotainment system that says the battery's very low. Um, so that we've gotten close a few times, um, particularly in cold weather. So, um, but I was reading on the forum, on the VW forum, that if you plug the van in, and that reminds me, I must get that plug, um, you can 
power you can charge the obviously the leisure batteries off your from your house but there's a trickle charge that goes into the um, main battery in the engine and um, so that's just a little bit of information that, that i meant to share with people um if um you're so inclined do you know what i just realized now is that light changing mm. it's going to be a nightmare now to edit but anyway I probably should have pulled that yoke on probably Probably because what happens if we get overblown? So I should have said it to manual. Anyway, yeah. So um, twenty six minutes with just six minutes of good. Twenty six minutes, and by the time I edit it out, it'd be down to twenty five. So um, <laughs> everyone needs to hear everything I have to say. It's all fascinating stuff. <laughs> That's probably better, isn't it? Well, I'd imagine if you're going to pull a halfway, pull it all the way. No, no, a little bit lighter. So, uh, uh, anything else again? I know I keep saying FA. Anything else? Well, twice I've gone to say something else and twice you've interrupted me. Uh, so now I've was I? To say. Was I? Yeah. Did I? Yeah. Well, go on then. What were no, you, what I were you going to say? Now. Well, look at I used that there. Yeah. Go on, anyway. What were you saying? I don't know. See? Look at you. You were going to say something. What no, were you going to say? Yeah, unbelievable. Nothing is important unless it comes out of your gob. That's true. Just spraying the window here. Just see. What do you think? Oh, it smells lovely. I sprayed it. Sniff it. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Sniff it too much. Mm. Mm. Sniffing that later. Well, all the pubs are closed, so you have to entertain yourself somehow. Imagine, uh, what, what, in nine months, how many kids, and they're all going to be called Corona. Corona and Karina. Corona, get in here. That's probably not funny. Covid and Corona. Yeah, there's probably going to be a million kids born. Everyone's stuck at home. Loads of Christmas babies. Would it be Christmas? Mm. March, April? Yeah. Yeah. Because there's always a puppy, a baby boom in December in Ireland anyway. Well, that's because of Paddy's Day. Yeah. Which was cancelled. Well, it wasn't cancelled. The parade was cancelled. We still had the day. <laughs> oh, yeah. From a religious perspective, yes. We definitely had the day. Yeah. But other than that, it was cancelled. Pubs were closed. And I think they purposely closed the pubs. Yeah. The pubs closed in Ireland. That shows how serious it is. You know what I mean? <laughs> But anyway, right. <laughs> okay. Okay, so uh, we're going to go? We're going to go. Okay, we'll talk to you later. If we don't uh, see you through the week, we see you through the window. Yeah, so if you're interested in videos or something like that, let us know. And we'll, we'll see what we can do for you guys. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye.